Good morning, Otters. Um, and today in maths, you're going to be adding a two digit and a three digit number, but this time we'll be crossing 10 and 100. So there will be at least one exchange. Again, we're going to be using column addition. And depending what you found useful yesterday, you might want to draw the hundreds, tens and ones again today. Right, it's just the same when we've added two two digit numbers or a one and a two digit number with that exchange, okay? So for example, let's have, hmm, let's have 125 and 36, okay? First things first, does it matter which way around I write those numbers? As in whether it should go on the top line or the bottom line? No, it doesn't. Because remember, we said addition is commutative, so those numbers can go around either way that we'd like. Okay? We always start adding in the ones column, just in case that there is an ex there is an exchange. Because as we already know, the highest number you can the highest digit you can have in one column is a nine. Okay, and if it adds more than to more than a nine, we'll need to exchange. So I'm gonna start by adding the ones. So I've got five and six. I can do that mentally. If you need to draw something, you could draw your deans. So I could draw my five deans here. One, two, three, four, five for these ones. And then I could draw my six deans here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now if you count them all up, hopefully you'll spot that, oh wait, there's 11 ones. And that's too many to write in our ones column. So what do we have to do? We have to exchange. We're exchanging 10 ones for one 10. So I'm going to exchange 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 ones and I'm exchanging them for one 10. Remember, I show that exchange by carrying the 10 over here. So I'm going to write that down here so I don't forget to add it later on. Then I look at how many I've got. So it makes 11. So that's one, one left in that column okay and then the same again if you need to draw your tens you can all right i'm going to do this mentally so I, because i know two tens add three tens equals five tens okay but i'm not finished there i cannot forget this 10 that's down here so it's two add three is five tens add another 10 is your six tens okay and then the hundreds, we're not adding any hundreds to date, so that will stay the same. So 161. Again, you have a choice like yesterday. You could draw your base 10 if you need to. You might be able to do it mentally, but you must show me that exchange. Okay, you need to show me you've carried the 10, or it might be carrying 100. If you don't want to draw the deans or the base 10, you could draw a place value counter. So like I showed you yesterday, you could draw your hundreds, your tens and your ones. The most important thing that you need to remember is when exchanging, ten ones is the same as one ten, and ten tens is the same as one hundred. All right. See you tomorrow.